welcome back to my garage. So today I want to talk about uh, grout. Um, so the last few days I've put grout into this whole ganterizer and the other one. The other one's inside the house um, and like this thing's really heavy so I don't want to bring them both out. But yeah, I'll talk about uh, what I've done with this, uh, steps involved in doing this, uh, any information, insights and stuff along the way. Um, I am by no means an expert with this stuff, so if you are and you see something that I say that you know conflicts, uh, be sure to put something in the comments below. So what is grout? It's a mixture of sand and cement and it has plasticizers, so the uh, water that when you're mixing it, um, it flows better. And then in the case of the one I use, it also has some expanders and that just helps as it's, uh, as the mixture of water and, and all that is happening, it'll expand slightly. So, or non-shrink, I guess you could call it as well. In my case, the stuff I have, it's uh, expanded a little bit, like maybe one to 3%. As it, uh, in this case, uh, I put in the top and let it flow to the bottom and let me see if I can move this thing without breaking the table. It's heavy. So for prepping this, I use some, um, where's my screwdriver? So on all these bolts here, I have some grease so the grout doesn't make its way into the threads and screw everything up there. And then on some of these areas, like on the top here, I have a um, large gap here. It's like one centimeter. I'll pull this off so you can see this. And uh, this, is, this is packing tape and uh, it works. So. That's how the bottom looks here as it's uh, drying. And this is some hot glue. And on that side. And then also there's some hot glue in there to fill up that crack because I didn't um, I didn't weld uh, the insides here because I didn't want to pull everything too much and you know cause an issue. Uh, but yeah, that looks pretty good on the on the bottom while it settles. Um, yeah, so uh, that seemed to work all right. Let me turn this over. I'm not sure how much it weighs. And it probably weighs three times as much as it did. So I poured it in and uh, went up. Uh, I left. A, I went up to this piece of steel here. That's how thick that is. Like maybe six centimeters or so. And it expanded the rest of the way up. And after the second uh, day, I pushed uh, my finger in here and here so I could complete the uh, where the screws are going to go for the bearing carriages. While I was researching um, how to how to mix this stuff, um, some places suggested that you mix it and let it sit for five minutes, and it'll kind of harden slightly and kind of become more like uh, peanut butter in viscosity. Um, in the case for my, I don't like, I don't want to do that because I want it to free flow all the way down to the bottom. Ooh. I want it to flow all the way down here. Um, so once I mixed it and I, I could put as much grout into the water or get as much water into the grout as I could while it's still um, liquid. Um, I just poured it right away and that seemed to work pretty good for me. While I was uh, doing all this stuff I was a little concerned about these screws and I had all these ideas of how to like protect them and stuff. I was um, thinking about going on the inside and as they're screwed in and, and putting like some kind of cylinder or anything or something around that. Um, ultimately it's not necessary. Um, like all of these 
are still like they're not tight or anything. And the uh, the grease in there keeps the liquid from you know making its way through the threads and solidifying and causing issues. So grease on the threads works really good. And also like these are the screws that I'm going to be uh, using to hold the gantry in place. And I'm tightening them all the way in because I want that little bit of like a millimeter or so um, of space in there. So just keep that in mind that like you're only gonna be able to push these screws in as far as uh, you know you have them set right there um, when you're doing final assembly. I'm not sure about uh, curing time, uh, how long it's going to take. Uh, like if you look online, a lot of grout is going to say like 24 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours. Generally what they're going to be talking about with that, um, from what I can tell is, you know, grouting and tile for tiles. And if you're filling in a confined space like this, like that is, it's going to take longer, much longer. Um, like because the water as this thing flows to the bottom here, like the water just has nowhere to go. And that's just gonna keep everything a lot more hydrated and increase the curing time. Uh, but I'm probably, from what I can tell, um, researching, this whole piece will continue to uh, increase in strength, or at least the, uh, the mix here. Um, it'll take probably a month for the uh, first uh, two nights, or a night and a half, I had these in the garage, and I kept the temperature in the garage um, above freezing. So probably, and it's been warm the last couple of days, so it's it's been between like five and 10 degrees um, Celsius in the garage. Uh, but we're getting a bit of a cold snap right now, so I brought these in the house. and It's easier now because everything's much more solidified and I don't have to worry about this stuff uh, coming out all over the place. So uh, inside the house uh, for the next for the next while is going to be where these are going to live. Um, for a sound test, got a hammer here. So here's that's uh, that ring sound. Like that's kind of how it all sounded. And then over here. Yeah, like that's, maybe this will sound better. Like that sounds solid. And then this piece here. Yeah, so that's, I don't know what that means really. That's an idea of how, how it sounds. Waiting for these things to cure for a while is uh, kind of in line with uh, my life right now because I'm kind of busy for the next month or so. So having stuff uh, curing and you know settling for a while is, is kind of a good use of time right now. Now on the machine itself, it is still on the gantry, The these wood gantry holders. Um, where is my X servo? There it is. So that servo there obviously is going to go here. And um, when I when I did the uh, transition from the uh, X ball screws and everything being vertical to on the side with the new risers, I shifted over the top rail from one hole over uh, just to, well, you can see the alignment now. It's, they're almost aligned together. And before the, uh, the top one was shifted over by one. So there's, you know, that's the distance there. One of those green uh, nubs. Um, so that brings the servo over quite a lot over here. And I'm thinking now just because of, uh, just the work and, labor involved to deal with uh, remounting everything because that would involve redoing the screws, the, the holes on the top there and everything over here plus 
um, I would have to, you know, jury rig a bunch of stuff because there's really not a lot of space to, to hold everything here. Like originally it was that much, but now I only have that much space. So I think I'm going to put everything back and uh, yeah, and keep it like that. And then by doing so, I can quickly dismantle this beam out and I can fill it also with the uh, grout mix. So the way I'm thinking of doing that is, well, obviously once I get everything down, I got to do something with all these holes. And when I pour the grout into the gantry tube, I'll do it uh, vertically. So it's, you know, one end is on the ground and then point it up and then I can just pour it in, right? Um, I will need to have access to the first uh, inch or two. Yeah, I guess an inch, inch and a half. Um, of space on one side so I'll have to make a cap and I'll probably make it out of wood and you know the hot glue method works pretty good um, maybe something else and uh, press it in and that will be on the bottom so I can keep one uh, you know the, the first little bit of space empty of the grout mix and uh, because this stuff uh, slightly expands uh, I don't want to like and like I have no idea how much it's going to expand because that's probably you know ten times the volume of the the uh, risers over there. Um, what I'll do is if this is the bottom and I'm filling it up here like so, I'll uh, I won't go all the way to the end here. I'll I'll come back maybe like three or four inches, and then just give it like 24 hours to you know do its thing, and then um, after that. I'll know how much it expands and then I'll uh, fill up the rest accordingly so I can uh, get both sides, um, you know, an equal amount of distance. And, you know, the worst thing is I, you know, I'm, I, I get everything set up and leave it overnight and then the next day it, I see that it's like, it's flowed out the top like a volcano and solidified into, you know, concrete. So <laughs> that wouldn't be too good. For future me's reference, I'll just see what this sounds like as a hollow tube. Weight-wise, I haven't measured the before and after weight of these, but like it feels like it's three times heavier, and like this has it has a lower volume plus like the steel sidewall is quarter inch. It's quite a lot. On this one here, the uh, steel is eighth of an inch. I think it is eighth of an inch. And the volume is considerably more. So, um, yeah, this gantry is going to be, it's going to weigh a lot. Um, the servo should be able to handle it. The plastic servo mount is probably going to be a problem right away. It's hard to tell. I'll have to keep the acceleration way down. And I'll probably make... Um, steel or aluminum replacements of this stuff probably right away otherwise I'm gonna be printing these things all the time because like that's not gonna survive so that's all I have for this video and if uh, you have any uh, recommendations with uh, pouring the grout mix into this or any other ways of you know doing this stuff like I've never really done this stuff and um, so far, I've had some good success with it, but yeah, any info uh, would certainly help, and uh, especially if anybody else is thinking about doing this, and you know, the more information on um, doing this stuff correctly. And so yeah, throw that down in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time.